Legend of Tarzan, directed by David Yates and stars Alexander Skarsgård, Margot Robbie, Samuel Jackson, and Christoph Waltz, and is the newest adaptation of the classic Tarzan story from the 1900s. Now, growing up, I remember watching various shows and movies about Tarzan, and the closest, the only one that I remember watching the most when I was younger was Disney's Tarzan from the 1990s. And I remember when I was little, I used to watch that movie all the time, and for when I was growing up, I actually really got a kick out of it. And I kind of grew, I, I mean, I wasn't really that big of a fan of the character Tarzan t that much, but as time, because really, I mean, I was little, so I didn't really pay, I didn't, I never read the books or anything. But as time grew older, I started to notice that as the films that were coming out that were being based on books, they started, I started noticing that there was a lot of new uh, stories that were now being adapted into films currently that they're trying to redo or try to bring to a new audience, such as you got the Lone Ranger, John John Carter, you have all these famous like stories that they has been adapted to several movies and TV shows that they're trying to bring back to a new audience. And when I first heard about this film, it really got me curious because it's directed by David Yates, who directed some of my favorite Harry Potter films. He directed the some of the, la the last four uh, Harry Potter movies that I liked, and uh, I believe he also directed the last uh, Twilight movie, I think, but I can't remember. But anyway, from what the trailer was showing me, it seems like they were trying to go for a more serious approach with the character, with bring it to a more darker level, and trying to bring back that feel that that that's trying to stay, but still trying to stick to the character's lore. And Christoph Waltz plays a, char a guy who goes to the Congo and negotiates with this tribe, and he makes a deal where he can, he does this scheme where the tribe tries to get him to bring Tarzan back to his back to the Congo and as the story progress as the story unfolds we see flashbacks that show us that Tarzan and Jane have met each other in the past and now they're currently living together because he's now adapted to society and then you also have uh, Samuel L. Jackson's character who's involved to pretty much bring Tarzan back to the Congo because he's been invited from to the Congo to see the tribe and I have to say that I'm very kind of mixed about the movie. Like, I thought it was just okay. I really liked the performances of, of Alexander Skarsgård. I thought he really captured Tarzan really well. I liked the the fact that he, throughout the movie, you're seeing the animal instincts in, that he's reacting to with the with the with the animals, especially with the, with the apes. And then you also have scenes where he's making noises that you can really buy from this for him being in the jungle that long. And I also enjoyed Margot Robbie. I thought, I thought her performance was funny. It was, she was well, she was witty at times. She, her and Alexander Skarsgård had really great chemistry together, and you can really feel the love that she has to Tarzan, who now goes by the name John Clayton. I really enjoyed Samuel Jackson as well in his this movie. I thought that he really brought the comedy into a whole new light, and he was just hilarious at times. And I'm just a big fan of Samuel Jackson to begin with, so seeing him in this film really brought comedy really well into it, you know, especially with his wise-ass remarks that he does to everybody, <laughs> and, uh, and throughout the movie, you can also see that he's kind of trying to be the, the second badass next to Tarzan, because, like, throughout the movie, you can kind of see that maybe he could have his own movie. I also enjoyed a lot of this, the scenery, too. I think that the direct, I think the cinematography is very excellent, how it captures the jungle, and how you're seeing a lot of where the Congo is at. Now, I'm not sure if this actually took place in the Congo, because maybe, I'm sure a majority of it's probably CGI, but for the visual design that they create with this jungle, it really looks breathtaking, and you can really, and I actually am one of the few that actually enjoy the green filter they have over it. You know, it captures the, captures the animals in, in great lighting and in really intense moments, especially in the rain parts. And I also enjoyed part of the CGI, too, for the most part. I love the animals look. I thought they looked really realistic. I mean, I'm sure they're not as realistic as, say, The Jungle Book, which I heard has fantastic CGI. But you can also see that they put a lot of effort into making these apes, like, all the animals really look as real as they can. And there's probably, like, a couple of shots, I can tell, that are obvious CGI that don't work out too well. Especially when you have this part where Tarzan and uh, Samuel Jackson's character, they're, they're going to jump on this train. And you can tell that from the scenery behind them looks very green screen. It's very obvious in that part. I also enjoyed the score too. I think the music really holds up, like especially when you have this opening music where it kind of reminds me of listening to Gladi listen to the soundtrack to Gladiator with the, uh, you know, 
it really puts you in that mindset of, of being in the jungle, which I think really captures the essence of this movie. The thing I also liked was the, the whole idea that we're seeing the flashbacks unfold between Jane and Tarzan with their early years and how they progress. And, and you also, not going to spoil anything, but you, you also see flashbacks involving him that, that has a really dark turn twist of what happens later in the film, which I thought there are some things I didn't like about it. For one, I thought Christoph Waltz, I thought his performance was good. It's just that his character was just very bland and he didn't really bring much attention. Like he was just a very stock generic villain who just wanted money. It just seemed like the same story I've seen before with this character with this kind of character. In fact, that's what the movie feels like. It feels like every Tarzan film combined, only instead we're seeing it kind of like a sort of a sequel, kind of like what they do a hook where you have the character returning to their original area, which I thought is interesting, but they don't really dive too well into it with the plot because it takes so many similar turns with trying to just be this generic Tarzan story that we've already seen countless times, and they probably made in better movies. The comedy, I think, worked for good parts with Samuel L. Jackson. It's just that there's other parts where it feels out of place in some areas. Like, you see parts where they're, they're doing, like, a very serious moment, but then it'll immediately cut to something that's not so... That's, that's just like a quick remark that tries to kind of ruin the emotion that you're trying to get out of it. And, and it, it brings the, the tension down a little bit for me while I was watching it. Not to mention, I thought that the pacing could have been a lot better because it, it really drives down a hard with what's happening. Like, there are some interesting action set pieces that are going on, but there's not really a lift to... Like, that are really well crafted. I'm wrong. I love what they do with some of these action sequences. It's just that a lot of times it goes by like kind of so fast that you don't really feel any investment with it because it'll immediately just drag down with another scene where their characters are doing exposition dialogue. It just felt like a very already been there done that Tarzan story where they add like sprinkles here and there that enhance the that that provide some interesting take on the character but they don't really elaborate much on it because it's very cut short and I kind of wish when they show a lot of the flashbacks part, I kind of wish they would show more of that movie that's happening because it would have probably end us. It would have gave us more of a impact of what's going on with with what happens later in the film. But overall, I would say that the movie is not bad. I, I would say check it out. Just a, at least rent it, maybe at Redbox or something. I'm gonna give it a six out of ten. It it has its it's it's got great performances. It's got some good action here and there. But there's some things that it could have had a lot better going for it if only they were able to you know, have a better script. Guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. If you like what you see here, you can check out more of my reviews here on YouTube, and there will be more reviews coming up here soon. I'll see you guys later.